first at five, caught on camera. A thief in Webster swiping packages off a porch. Thanks for joining us, everybody. I'm Corey Smith. I'm JC Monahan. So take a look at it. It happened in broad daylight. Police say she got away with hundreds of dollars worth of gifts. And tonight, they're trying to track her down. NBC 10's John Maroney joining us live from Webster with reaction from a woman who we're told had Christmas gifts stolen that were for her kids. Casey, Christmas is right around the corner, but for one family tonight here in Webster, some of their holiday joy has been stolen. You don't recognize her? No, no. A brazen holiday heist as this woman tries to steal piles of packages from the porch of a multifamily home in Webster. Christmas gifts for her children. They belong to a mother of five living at the address who did not want to be identified. I don't know what I'm going to do. Like, there's 10 days before Christmas. We'll have packages stolen one or two, but to have a, in this amount of volume from one person is, is, is not common for us. The woman first approaches with boxes in her arms. She's suspected of stealing other packages in the Harris Street neighborhood, despite the prevalence of surveillance cameras. You would think it would deter people from doing things like this, but it's actually people just don't care. They're driven by whatever forces make them want to steal. As the thief makes her getaway down the stairs, the packages fall to the ground again. She then disappears behind the hedge to organize her booty. It's awful. I mean, people work hard for their money and they just, you know, it's Christmas time. The mother of five figures she's lost about $800 in gifts. They've posted signs about future deliveries and a warning to the suspect. Not about the gifts, and but still, that was money that I spent in time. And then people are like, oh, well, go find me or Amazon. But the stuff that I picked out isn't on Amazon. And buying my kids a whole bunch of stuff isn't going to fix what I need for other people. It's just, it's a lot. Now, police do have a very good image of the suspect, and they say this remains a very active investigation. We're live in Webster, John Maroney, NBC 10 Boston.